In this video, we're going to look at the a simple sales page that's been created. Now, I love this page. It's got a nice, clean, bold appeal to it, and it can be used in so many different markets. So we'll just start at the top here and work our way down. Instantly, when someone lands on a page like this, they see credible icons. So if you have credible icons in your business that you can use, a good place to put them right at the top, okay? So instantly... It gives you authority in your niche. That's what we're trying to resemble here with these icons. So going down, we've got the big, bold headline, an image of the person who's the product or the creator or the person behind this sales page. An instant face or a personality is um, applied to this sales page. So this is just an element of trust. You're adding a bit of trust straight away. You know, you're putting your face, your name to the product um, or the you know the item whatever it is you're selling but doing this instantly adds trust and then there's an introduction you've got the text so let's just navigate down the page and to see how it continues it's trying to get that you know the page got to flow really trying to make it flow so the person who's reading it doesn't feel like they're reading a sales page they're just flowing through your content and what your features are and your benefits and your goal is obviously to get them to take action at the end so with this page, as you go on, you go into the next headline here, nice, clear, bold. And this is using some elements of white space between each paragraph just to break it up, make it easier to read. So going down, we see the first lot of bullet points. So you could use these to highlight your top features or your top benefits. Um, then you go in with another bold headline. And this is actually where you could cover featured sections. So as the eyes flow through this page, they would read this text on the left here get an idea of this feature, their eyes would go to the right, see the image, then they'd drop down to the next section, maybe read this text, and you'd glance over and see this icon. Again, you'd just go down, it's just making the user flow through the page. So they're reading here, another image, and then we're going to hit them with another big, bold headline. Now we could be looking at the benefits of the benefits of this product. So we've got a nice big icon here which allows you then to put in some features or some bullet points into these areas. And again, you can choose how big you want this icon or how small you want it to be. So based off your, you know, how many bullet points you're going to put in this section, try and just keep it looking tidy, like adding the white space at the top, having some white space at the bottom, try not to have the text like lap underneath, just keep it all nice and clean. So as the users, this one is flowing down. Again, you then hit with another big bold headline you see these colors are all staying the same we're keeping the same headline color along with the fonts and the icons are the same color so there's not much distraction here um, once you get down here into the sort of social proof you're kind of you're adding that authority to you and you're building a bit of trust with the person who's obviously reading the page and having these testimonials in the page here, you, you're obviously trying to overcome any objections that the person has. And once you start having these testimonials in place, it's social proof that people are buying your products. You know, and they're, they're happy to put their, you know, their face or their name to a testimony that they've said about your product. Having these things really can break down objections that the person's having. You know, if they're looking to buy your product, and immediately once we go through the testimonials. They're presented with the price and the details on how they can order this. We've used a simple featured box here with a dash border and a simple button. But you can see here it's just nice and clean and clear. Headline, you get the a kind of a subhead to reinforce the person to take action. They're already agreeing. And then you've got the clear discount offered in the headline, the price there. And we're showing underneath as well the button, the credit cards. So again, you're adding, you know, you're adding a sort of logos from approved companies that people recognize. We're so seeing these recognized brands. And then if you keep going, we've got a bit of scarcity here. So we're obviously using a warning telling people this item could sell out. So you're adding a bit of sense of urgency that you want the user to take action immediately. Um, if you ever use these kind of things, you know, use them ethically. Make sure that you are, if you have a countdown timer that once the, you know, the product actually closes, then make sure you do shut the you know the offer off and if you're like trying to say here you have only got 10 left or 9 left then you know use these ethically make sure you really tell the user that you have got x number of items left to sell so this is what this area is actually doing it's putting that scarcity in or putting the sense of urgency in again to reinforce the person to take action immediately and further down we've got another sort of section to buy so we've got the two there you can see the first one scarcity and then another one 
And obviously to maybe change this, you could put the guarantee section here in the middle and another testimonial just to you know add a bit more social proof in there. But it's just very clear. It's using nice, clear features in Optimize Press, using the boxes, the nice buttons that we've got, and then just breaking it down with some nice, simple colors, easy font to read as well. And this font all the way through is quite large, um, so it's quite easy to read on the eye. It's not like you have to look too hard at it. But you know, beautiful page, beautiful icons here, ready for you to use. You can take this and run with it. You know, it's ready made. You just need to put in your own text, and you have a beautiful page. And again, if you do, you're going to put a sales page like this online. Get your face, you know, put your face to to the um, the product. Having this can really add a bit of trust to a sales page. So as always, these are in the clubhouse. You can go and download them right away. They're ready for you to use. And if you do use them, please send us a link so we can see them on your site and see you using them in action.